Oh, uh, hello guys. How are you? I hope you all are fine. So today our topic of discussion is fetal erythropoiesis. So today we are going to talk about fetal erythropoiesis. Okay, this is very very important topic, and we will focus on those on those material in fetal erythropoiesis which are important for MCQs. Okay, so what does this mean by erythropoiesis? It is actually the process of producing RBC by stem cells. So the process of producing RBC by stem cells is called erythropoiesis. Okay, now if we are talking about uh, fetal erythropoiesis, okay, so we will look those areas or those sites in fetal du during fetal development in which RBC production is occurred. Okay, so erythropoiesis means the process of producing RBC by stem cells is called erythropoiesis. Okay, so now uh, fetal erythropoiesis. So the first one, erythropoiesis, the RBC formation is occur in the yolk sac mesoderm. Okay, so you know this is ectoderm, this is mesoderm, and this is endoderm. This one is yolk sac cavity, and this one is amniotic cavity, and this is yolk stalk. Okay, so now this mesoderm is called intraembryonic mesoderm, which is present between the ectoderm and endoderm. This is called intraembryonic mesoderm, and this one mesoderm, which is going to surround the yolk sac cavity. This mesoderm is called extra embryonic mesoderm. Now, this meso extra embryonic mesoderm, which is going to cover yolk sac cavity, this is called yolk sac mesoderm. This is called yolk sac mesoderm. So, this is the site, and now the durations. It is actually started from three weeks to eight weeks. From three, eight, three weeks to eight weeks. Okay, and this is same like embryonic embryological period, embryonic period. So embryonic period is actually from three to eight weeks. So this is how you will remember. So embryonic week is from three to eight weeks. So during embryonic period, the erythropoiesis is occur in the yolk sac mesoderm. Okay, it is occur in the yolk sac mesoderm. So this one is the first site of uh, the first sites for fetal erythropoiesis. Now the second one is liver. So in the liver. The erythropoiesis process occur from six week till birth. So the the site is liver. The duration is from six week to birth. Now the third one is actually occur in the spleen. So in the spleen, it is occur from ten weeks to twenty eight weeks. From ten weeks to twenty eight weeks. Now the fourth one is actually the bone marrow. In the bone marrow, the erythropoiesis process occur from eighteen weeks to adult. Okay, it is occur from eighteen weeks to adult. Okay, now we are going to the mnemonics. Now this is very very easy mnemonics. I made it for you guys, and so you guys can learn from here. Okay, and so just remember this mnemonics, and you can solve many MCQs from fetal erythropoiesis. Okay, so this is the mnemonics. These are the sites, and these are the durations of the. Uh, duration for fetal erythropoiesis. Okay, so now just remember this mnemonics: young lady speak boldly. Young lady speak boldly. So from why? Just remember why you can say yolk sac. You can say what? Yolk sac. From young why you can say yolk sac and the duration is actually three to eight weeks. And how you can remember the three to eight weeks? Just remember embryonic period. Embryonic period is actually from three to eight weeks, or you can simply say three months. Okay, so embryonic week is from three to embryonic period is from three to eight weeks, and this is how you can remember that in the duration for the yolk sac, the erythropoiesis which is occurring in the fetal. Okay, so from why young, why yolk sac, and three to eight weeks. That is just simple embryonic period. Now from lady. From this L you can remember liver. The site is the liver. From this L you can remember the liver, and the duration is actually from six week to birth. Okay, how you will remember this point? Just you can see this L. This L is very very near to which one? This is near to six. Okay, if you can draw like this, you can see here. For example, this is L. I can make it like this. Just put it here, and this become this become six. Okay, this becomes six weeks. Me from six weeks, and now you can see this. This six is very very near to which one? B. So you have to remember from six week to birth. It's very simple. You can see I can make this six just a little bit straight, and now this become B. So from L, L is very near to six. So six weeks, and then this six is very near to very near to same like this B. So it's me from six week to birth. This is how you will remember that the duration and the time, like. 
in the liver, if they ask you in the MCQs, the liver, the duration for erythropoiesis is which? So just remember, L is nearly same to 6, and so it's mean from 6 weeks. And this 6 is very nearly same to B, and so it's mean from, from 6 weeks to birth. This is how you will remember this point, okay? Now let's for the third point, this is speak. So from this is you remember the spleen. Okay, you have to remember the spleen. And the duration of time is actually from 10 weeks to 28 weeks. From 10 to 28 weeks. Now you can see here, S is actually in Chinese, uh, we can call SH. SH. With this S, we can call to 10. So from this S, you will remember 10. And now you can see this is 10. When I add 2 plus 8, it become 10. Okay, when I add 2 with 8, it become 10. So from 10 weeks to 28 weeks. So in Chinese we call it per 10. So from 10 weeks and then if I add 2 to 8, then it become also 10. So we have to remember like this, from 10 weeks to 28 weeks. If they give you the part of the spleen, just remember, okay, sure, sure per 10. Okay, from 10 weeks, now, if I add 2 with 8, it become also 10. So from 10 weeks to 28 weeks. You have to remember like this, okay. Now the last one is boldly. From this B, you have to remember bone marrow. Okay, you have to remember bone marrow. For bone marrow, it is the duration of time is 18 weeks to adult. 18 weeks to adult. Okay. Now how you will remember? Okay, how you will remember this point? So you can see this B. B is nearly same with 8. For example, if this is B, it is nearly same with 8. If I made it like this, it is nearly same with 8. And now you know. From B before is A. It's mean before A. A is on the first one. So for this A I will put one. So it will become 18. This is how you will remember this bone marrow. So just if they ask you bone marrow, okay, you have to remind. B is nearly same with A. And before B, the in alphabet, in English alphabet, there is A. This one A. And so I will put A mean one. One I will put, I will write one before this A. So it became it become 18 weeks. And it become 18 weeks till adult. And this very simple. From 18 weeks, you just you have to just remember this. And you know in bone marrow, it is a cartel. The erythropoiesis process occur till adult. Okay. So this is how you will remember. Just very simple mnemonics. Okay. Young ladies speak bloody. Why? Yolk sake. The duration of time is three to eight weeks. Just remember embryonic period. Okay. Embryonic period. For this. From L, you can see liver. Liver means L is nearly same to sex. So from 6 weeks, then this 6 is nearly same to B, so it means till birth. Now for this spleen, S, S in Chinese we call for 10, so 10 weeks, then 2, 2 plus 8 is also become 10, so from 10 weeks to 28 weeks. This, you, this is how you will remember the duration. And now for bone lip, bone marrow, from B, B is nearly same with 8, and before the B, A is coming, so just put 1 before 18, so it become 18 weeks, and you don't need to remember this, added. You all know that bone, the erythropoiesis occur till the adult. Okay, so this is how you will remember erythropoiesis. Peter erythropoiesis. There are many MCQs on this. Just remember this mnemonics is enough for you guys. Okay, hope you enjoy it. Okay, bye bye.